Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have the J&B Rare on my cars. One of these mass produced whiskies. 72 million liters, not, not liters, bottles. Oh, actually there are liter bottles, so hmm, may as well be liters <laughs> of this whiskey worldwide per year. And yeah, it's a rather inexpensive one. You can get them in like yeah, supermarkets around in Europe and probably liquor stores everywhere around the United States. And it's, yeah, it's well known and it's still pretty old. And you can see, actually see a, a royal emblem here. And it got uh, distinctions from several kings and queens. And here, the um, by appointment to the late majesty, King George III, King George IV, Queen Victoria, King George V, King William IV, King Edward VII, and King George VI, and the late Prince of Wales. So yeah, a lot of kings of the British uh, yeah, kingdom, empire, I don't know what they call themselves, United Kingdom, so kingdom. Um, yeah, they are yeah, distinguishing this Eusterini and Brooks uh, blended whiskey. And I have to say, I think it's probably was back in the day really good blended malt where we had a lot of just PT whiskey that was just too many of them in the market and they just had a very yeah. easy one and I think that's the the thing about Jane B. Rare it's an easy drinkable whiskey yeah it's inexpensive and you get a little bit of fruitiness sweetness and that's it with the smell it's it's not got that huge variety and floweriness or something else. It's just fruity and light, fruity and light. But if you just want to drink a whiskey instead of just really focusing, enjoying, tasting, uh, then this might do the trick. Mm -hmm. Fruity light, same theme in the in the taste. Yet still, I do have a bit of a freshness, a bit of a distillation note in there. So it it is a bit young, and yeah, the thing is, what do you expect for um, a twenty bucks whiskey? It's not a single malt; it's a blended malt. Can have a lot of grain in it. Um, can have a lot of the young whiskey in it. No age statement, and that is what you get. I don't say it's a bad whiskey. It's I don't think there's much bad whiskey out there. It's a good whiskey, but it's just a entry level good whiskey. You can do it, but it's no match for a, a good single malt scotch with 30, 40 euros upwards. Mm. Mm. I would say if you have already had enough whiskey for the evening of good tasting and you already feel a bit um, numb in your mouth for let's say a bit of tasting of of cask strength or some stronger stuff then um, you don't want to waste your your precious single malt your your very expensive stuff but you still have an evening in front of you with a few friends and you say hmm, yeah let's continue with the with the JMB rare and just have something pleasant nice whiskey like on and a whiskey on your tongue then this is probably a good choice um, but if you are into single malt scotch then this is just below standard I would say yeah but still yet yeah, it's a whiskey it's enjoyable that was it with my review for the Jane B rare thank you very much for watching and see you next time